Welcome back to another GitHub Actions Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to create CSCD pipeline using GitHub Actions in order to create the Docker image and then push the Docker image into AWS ECR. So let's try to understand the use case better. Let's say that you are a DevOps engineer, you are working with the development team. They are developing Java based microservice and then they are using GitHub as the SCM tool. You are responsible for creating a CACD pipeline to create the Docker image and then push the Docker image into AWS ECR. So how will you do that? That's exactly what we are going to talk about in this short video. So if you look at the implementation steps, yes, we need to create a ECR in AWS cloud and then we need to create access keys in AWS console because that is how we are going to authenticate with the AWS cloud. And then we need to create secrets in GitHub Actions for storing our access keys and secret keys. And then we also need to create a secret for storing our repo name and AWS region as well. And then finally, we are going to create a GitHub Actions workflow ML file. We are going to add a task for uh, building a jar file using Maven, creating the Docker image, tagging the Docker image dynamically, and then we need to log into AWS ECR and then push the Docker image into AWS ECR. So we are going to run the entire workflow in GitHub Hosted Runner, preferably using Linux operating system. So I'm going to pick up Ubuntu in this scenario. Okay. And then once the workflow has been successfully run, we are going to verify if your image has been uploaded into AWS ECR or not. Right. So that's it. It's a very simple uh, real time use case, guys. So let's get started. So guys, you know, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well, guys. So if you look at the prerequisite, yes, we need to have our Java project configured in GitHub with the Docker file. So this is my uh, Spring Boot uh, Java based application. So this is the Docker file. So this includes, you know, having the jar file, Spring Boot jar file. And then finally, we are going to use, uh, you know, this command in order to bring up our Spring Boot uh, container. And then this is my palm.xml file. So like I said, we are going to use Maven for building the jar file. Wonderful. And then let me go back to the instruction and then we need to go ahead and then create access keys. And then I already have my uh, existing ECR repo. So guys, this is my ECR repository. So this is where I'm going to upload my Docker image. But if you don't have one, you can also go ahead and then create your repository just like this. All right, wonderful. And then we need to go ahead and then create access keys in AWS console. Go back to my AWS console, uh, click on my username and then go to security credentials. So this is where we are going to go ahead and then create access keys. So let me click on create access key. All right, so we have created the access keys and secret keys. So we need to store them as secrets. Let's go back to GitHub repository, go to settings, go to secrets, click on actions. If you actually see here, I have already created four different uh, secrets, uh, one for access key and then region code and then secret access key and then of course a repo name. All we have to do is just go ahead and then update them. So let me start with the access key. Click on update. So I'm going to go ahead and then update them. Similarly for secret access key as well. So right after this video, I'm going to go ahead and then you know, uh, deactivate all my access key and secret, secret keys so that, uh, you know, I don't want anyone to abuse the account. Perfect. And then we also need to update the region code as well. So the way you would know is if you go back to ECR. So if you see here, I'm actually under US East one. So I'm just going to go ahead and then provide that US East one. All right, perfect. Let's update that. And then similarly for our repo name. So, so what is our repo name? So this is my repo name. Perfect. Very good. Awesome. So if I go back to the instructions, so we took care of uh, creating access keys and secret keys. We also took care of, you know, uh, updating the ECR as well. And then we also took care of uh, creating secrets and everything, right? So perfect. So we took care of everything. And then all we have to do is just go ahead and then create the workflow ML file. Let's move forward, right? If I go back here, 
I have already created the entire workflow, folks. All we have to do is just, uh, you know, copy the entire workflow AML file and then, you know, create that uh, pipeline. That's it. Okay. So let me go back to GitHub, uh, go to actions, click on new workflow. Uh, so I'm going to click on set up workflow yourself. Since we have the entire AML file created, I'm simply going to go ahead and then copy and paste. Perfect. So let's go back here. Great. So if you see here, so this is the workflow name. We are uploading into ECR actually. So let me fix that. Uh, okay, so if you see here, the branch name is master, no problem. So on push means as soon as developers commit uh, any code changes into master branch, this pipeline would actually trigger. And then I'm going to use, uh, like I said, uh, GitHub hosted runner, Ubuntu latest. And then these are the uh, jobs, right? I mean, you know, the task. So I wanted to check out the code and then we need to install a JDK on the runner. Since we are going to uh, use Maven for building our Spring Boot jar file. So we need to have Java installed, okay? Uh, and then this is the uh, Maven Go. So that would actually build the Spring Boot jar file. And then if you look at the next uh, action, so this is going to actually set up uh, ECR credentials. Okay, so this is the action, right? You know, configure AWS credential. So this is going to read the access key from the secret. Uh, similarly, you know, both access key and secret key is going to read from the secrets. And then that is my, you know, region code. Okay. And then this will actually log in into AWS ECR using those credentials. And then I have updated the repository name over here. Perfect. I'm going to uh, create the image tag is dynamically using this way. And then finally, uh, you know, we are going to build the Docker image. Okay. And then if you see here, this is how we are going to build the Docker image. And then finally, we are going to uh, push the Docker image, right? Into ECR. Okay. So I don't want to use the latest, uh, uh, you know, tag and I want to build the Docker image tag dynamically. So that's it, right? So let's actually go ahead and then commit the code changes. Okay. Let's commit. All right, so let's go back to actions. So as soon as you commit the workflow AML file, the build got triggered. So let's see. So as you can see here, now it is in the process of uh, installing JDK 17. All right, so it started with the Maven build now. So we can also see here, it is able to set up the ECR credential set up the AWS credential and then logging into ECR. Wow. The image got built and the image also got pushed as well. Very good. I think the entire workflow is done. Wow. There you go. So we got a tick mark. Perfect. So you can see here the entire task has been executed. Perfect. So now how would you verify that? So we need to log in into AWS ECR. Go to repositories, click on the repo name. Wow, there you go guys. So right now if you see here 1108, I think like 1109. So like a few seconds ago, our image got successfully um, built, right? So yeah, so that's it guys. You know, that's how you would uh, create a CACD pipeline uh, using GitHub Actions for creating the Docker image and then uploading the Docker image into AWS ECR. Thank you for watching this video, guys.